Hello, and welcome to episode 5 of The Manifesto of the Communist Party by Karl Marx and Friedrich Engels. Part 4. Position of the Communists in Relation to the Various Existing Opposition Parties. Section 2 has made clear the relation of the Communists to the existing working class parties such as the Chartists in England and the Agrarian Reformers in America. The Communists fight for the attainment of the immediate aims for the enforcement of the momentary interests of the working class, but in in the movement of the present, they also represent and take care of the future of that movement. In France, the communists ally themselves with the social democrats against the conservative and radical bourgeoisie, reserving, however, the right to take up a critical position in regard to phrases and illusions traditionally held down from the Great Revolution. In Switzerland, they support the radicals without losing sight of the fact that this party consists of antagonistic elements, partly of them democratic socialists in the French sense, partly of radical bourgeois. In Poland, they support the party that consists of an agrarian revolution as the prime condition for national emancipation, that party which fomented the insurrection of Krakow in 1846. In Germany, they fight with the bourgeoisie whenever it acts in a revolutionary way against the absolute monarchy, the feudal squirearchy, and the petty bourgeoisie. But they never see for a single instant to instill into the working class the clearest possible recognition of the hostile antagonism between bourgeoisie and proletariat, in order that the German workers may straightaway use as so many weapons against the bourgeoisie the social and political conditions that the bourgeoisie must necessarily introduce along with its supremacy, and in order that, after the fall of the reactionary classes in Germany, the fight against the bourgeoisie itself may immediately begin. The communists turn their attention chiefly to Germany, because that country is on the eve of a bourgeois revolution that is bound to be carried out under more advanced conditions in European civilization, and with a much more developed proletariat than that of England was in the 17th and of France in the 18th century. And because the bourgeois revolution in Germany will be but the prelude to an immediately following proletarian revolution. In short, the communists everywhere support every revolutionary movement against the existing social and political order of things. In all these movements, they bring to the front, as the leading question in each, the property question, no matter what its degree of development at the time. Finally, they labor everywhere for the union and agreement of the democratic parties of all countries. The communists disdain to conceal their views and aims. They openly declare that their ends can be attained only by the forcible overthrow of all existing social social conditions. Let the ruling classes tremble at a communistic revolution. The proletarians have nothing to lose but their chains. They have a world to win. Working men of all countries, unite! Thanks for listening. Next episode, we'll be starting The Soul of Man Under Socialism by Oscar Wilde. As always, relevant links and contact info will be in the description.